we are watching. We are always here, watching, inspecting, investigating. If you, yes, you, get on a train without a valid ticket to a destination on World's Edge, you will join them and you will pay. You will pay. Pay for a ticket or you will pay with your life. Our drone sees all. This is not a threat. YouTube, don't terminate my account. This is just a message, but we will find you. Uh-huh, it's your boy, Hannah. Yes, people, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to get the 2K damage badge in season three. You know, and the first thing I'm gonna talk about is just knowing your legend and how their abilities can impact your gunfights. I'm trying to use Crypto's ability to go there and get... Oh my, <laughs> okay, so it looks like they know my legend too. So we're gonna have to do this a bit differently. Let's talk about a different point while we do that. I'm quite enraged right now. I'm just gonna let off a ton of wingman shots in the general direction because someone needs to die for the death of my drone. That's a fact, guys. That wasn't any drone. That was 100% a drone. <laughs> but the next point I'm gonna talk about is weapon selection. The wingman for me is perfect on this new map. You know, the new map has changed, it's bigger. There's more cover, but there's less cover at the same time, different play styles. And I find that the wingman helps me at both long range and close range. And if you're used to your weapon, gunfights become a lot more simpler because you can manipulate the gunfight to suit your needs. You'd then be able to take advantage of the combination of weapons you have. For example, the wingman for me, I use it for the initial damage, the fight before the fight. So I shoot, get some damage just like that. And if it's an emergency, I'll risk it all with a peacekeeper. What do you think this guy's thinking right now? What do you think in this moment that Pathfinder is thinking right now? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts on what's going through his head right now, but he shouldn't have pushed me guys. But I knew he was gonna do it. I knew it. Wow, oh wow. His box went flying guys. But yeah guys, it's about knowing your weapons so that in situations where you should die or you should be dead, you don't. And that's how you get the damage over time. As I say in a lot of my videos, focus on winning each gunfight and you will win more games. Okay, back to Legends. We were really interrupted when they destroyed my drone. I'm using Crypto, guys, and Crypto's abilities, as mentioned in the last video, is his drone and it really helps in situations. My teammates getting pushed really hard, so I EMP these guys, making them run back. You can see that other Crypto running away. And, you know, with the combination of my weapons, knowing the legend I have, you know, Crypto is kind of far away from the situation because he's using his drone providing intel so you kind of want to have high hitting weapons to make up for the fact that you're probably going to be coming to the battle a bit late fashionably late but late nonetheless so i definitely use something like a longbow a wingman something that has a high punch and can make people really think about whether they want to push me or not you know my next tip is really finding your play style which is much harder than it actually sounds and that's something you need to do yourself you need to soul search a little bit because apex legends never stays the same i was super aggressive on king's canyon but i know now i can't be as aggressive on this new map it's just too big I'm not trying to be hit with a 300 meter charge rifle. I don't know about you. The next thing I can go on to is relentless pressure. If you wanna go for the high damage games, you have to be actively applying pressure. Don't be lagging behind your teammates, get stuck in, but that also doesn't mean be reckless. Play smart and you can walk away having dealt a lot of damage. So picking your weapons and knowing what battles to pick based on your loadout saves lives. It's all gonna help you in the long run, but don't get greedy guys. It's one thing, you know, killing people and getting those kills, but when there is a situation going on and it gets a bit serious and it's just spiraling out of control always reconsider your position always move always make sure that you keep the advantage do not give the advantage to the enemy as you can see our pathfinder has now used the ultimate yes i think i'm ready to fly on a zip line i'm stuck here luckily my drone showed me there was a grenade coming so i was able to get out of it and run otherwise this probably wouldn't be a happy video but what we're gonna do simply put is utilize pathfinder heal up and we're gonna go and take his zip line and get out of there reposition that's the best thing we can do because i'm not trying to get sandwiched i'm nobody's packed lunch guys and neither are you we're on a good run so let's continue the good run you know playing smart i'm not deliberately going for these high kill games 
or high damage games it's happening because you're just applying these fundamental things another step i'm going to mention is definitely high ground high ground equals headshots equals more damage high ground on this new map is op and it cannot be nerfed so take advantage of that high ground look at that slide to the left take it back now y'all to the lobby yo that guy missed me jeez louise oh my word and you know the peacekeeper already i keep saying in all my videos i think i need to be the peacekeeper chairman or something i don't know make an association strictly for the peacekeeper or something because this gun here fantastic it's like one of the only guns that has remained top tier so i'm using my drone once again as you can see now my teammate and i we smell blood like sharks in a david attenborough documentary we know there's only one team left and now they're stuck in the position we left it's a bad day for them and we are now pushing pushing as a team and fully asserting our dominance even though we know that the odds are stacked in our favor we are not overly aggressive and not going straight into the tunnel that could be a death trap and so we are just waiting till one of us deals enough damage so we can push oh broke that shield so you see these wingman shots are adding up so if you find a weapon you're comfortable with make sure you're, you're able to use it at multiple different scenarios cheeky little touch there for 41 damage mind you and we're the champion so hopefully these tips and tricks kind of give you an insight into how to move as a team, how to play as a unit, how to utilize your legend. I'm talking about crypto specifically, but it can be used for all the different legends. They all have skill sets that you can master to devastating effect. And look at that, 2003 damage. Come on, that's still 2K damage badge, guys. Like not clipmate round here. We don't do that round here. We're 100 percenters round here, guys. But if you enjoyed the video, Make sure to like the video, subscribe, you know, share this video out. And until next time, guys, you know, I'm uploading two to three times a week. Make sure to check out the channel. And until next time, peace.